This is an opportunity once again for us to say uh, so long, goodbye. I don't know if you've uh, noticed that this is the third time we've said goodbye, and it and it kind of reminded me of a kind of reminded me of a song from a famous uh, relational psychologist named John Lennon, who had this song. He says, uh, "You say goodbye, I say hello. I don't know why you say goodbye, I say hello." We said it's been hard to let them go, but actually, leaving well is really important, and it's okay to say goodbye three times. And uh, but it's been a great it's been great to have you guys here, uh, James. You've been uh, an, it's a great pastor. You know, you've led us and taught us, prayed with us, and really pastored us. And Anne, you've you've been a friend of us, and you've served us, and you've supported us. And supported James as he's been pastor. So, and I really see how God has provided for us these last six years through you. So, if you're uh, you're um, leaving a big hole too. So, uh, and I know James, James said he'd like to say something, which is normal for pastors, right? You know. So, <laughs> so, uh, so please, James, can you please, please come on over and uh, say say goodbye. No? <laughs> I was thinking about that uh, film, The Long Goodbye. It has felt like that, but tonight. It's the final goodbye, and it, and it just hit, hit me as Tommy was giving. Out of all those announcements, I was thinking, I'm not going to be here. Uh, and that was really quite emotional. Uh, pastors don't always leave well. I, I heard of uh, a youth pastor who fell out with a senior pastor, and uh, he had to leave. And he said, on my final Sunday, would you allow me to choose my verse and preach from it and so reluctantly the church leadership said yeah yeah okay and so on his final Sunday uh, the youth pastor got up and he announced his text would be Genesis 22 5 you're all thinking what that is it's when Abraham said to his servants you stay here with the ass and I'll go yonder You are staying here with great people. And uh, I couldn't be happier that, that Tommy's in that process with you. I've worked with him. I affirm his gifts and character. It has been such a great privilege uh, to be your pastor. Uh, a couple of times I've quoted from Paul where he talked about uh, how... The congregations he served were in his heart, and that's true for Anne and I. As we leave here, we leave with you in our hearts with so many good memories. Uh, and I'm going to stop there, or I'll get over emotional. Thank you for the privilege of being your pastor. Stay here, stay here. Anne, did you want to say anything? Nothing, not at all. Okay. Okay. But come, I want you to come, come on in. And uh, we're going to surround you guys. But would anybody else like to join us as we pray for them as they, and send them off? Please feel free to come on up right now. And uh, I know it's hot. Hotter up here. But, but, huh? No sadness. Okay. Let's pray together. Father, we just thank you so much for your goodness to us in providing James and Ann. In providing James and Ann to us, for us, to, these past six years. Thank you for the friends they've been to us. Thank you for the guides they've been to us. Uh, well, it's just been great to see how they have contributed to our community and become part of our community. Father, we, we, we send them off now uh, very, with sad hearts. Uh, Father, uh, we'd rather say hello than goodbye. So we just, uh, but we thank you for this opportunity to send them off and, and just uh, we know that you'll go before them and prepare, and prepare their way, uh, protect them and uh, help them to resettle in their home. Father, thank you. It's been such a joy to get to know Anne and Pastor James over the last six years. They've truly been a blessing to us. And Father, we bless them with fruitfulness as they continue. I pray, Lord, that the works of their hands will just glorify you wherever they go. And that people will notice the beautiful spirit of the living God in their lives, Lord. Continue to transform the world through them. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Father, I pray for 
James and Anne for the next place that they are going to, that, Lord, you will surround them as we have surrounded them this evening with help us. Um, it's not always easy to come into a new place, but uh, we pray that, Lord, that they would find this new place as much a home as they have experienced in Westlake. In Jesus' name, amen. Lord, we pray for uh, Anne and James, probably as they drop about 20 degrees um, <laughs> over the next couple of days as they go home. Lord, I pray that you will be with them, that you will be putting a place for them. Um, and Lord, I just pray for all the, the practicalities of the next few days, for safe driving for Anne, for um, safe packing up for James, and a really good start to his new job next week. Lord, I pray that you will be there with everything and that they will know your love as they go out from Westlake. And Lord, also that they'll know our love as they go out. In your name, amen.